Hey guys, my name is George. In this video, we will look at another dot matrix display, which is a single 8x8 dot matrix display module, which uses I squared C or I2C as a communication interface. What I have here is an 8x8 dot matrix display from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. This uses an HT. 16K33 driver chip to drive the dot matrix display and simplifies the interfacing by providing I2C communication interface. This is similar to the previous dot matrix display we used in the previous video, which are this one and this one. But this two uses SPI communication. It needs five wires in order to communicate. While with this module, we only need four wires, which are GND for the ground, VCC for the supply voltage, SDA and SCL for the I2C serial data pin and serial clock pin. I will remove this one. For this experiment, you will also be needing of ESP32 development board as the main microcontroller, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, a 4-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires, and of course, the 8x8 dot matrix display itself. I already have it assembled and Use the GPIO 21 for the SDA and GPIO 22 for the SCL pin. And I followed the color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow for the SDA, and white for the SCL pin. Now, for the software part, we need a driver library to make this work. Thankfully, Tony Smith or Smithy Tone provided a driver library on his GitHub named HT16K33-Python. So here we need this HT16K33.py and this one with matrix. I already have it in my computer. This is the HT16K33 will serve as the base driver library while this one will give us the HT16K33 matrix class. So let's save it into MicroPython device root directory. Save this one. Click file menu. Select save as MicroPython device and save it as HT16K33 dot Let's also save this one, the one with matrix. Click the file menu, save us, MicroPython device. Let's add matrix. Okay, now we have the driver library that we need. Now I have here prepared two examples so for example number one we will explore the basics but i will not go through it individually because you can try one by one by commenting by uncommenting its example if you want to try number one you just uncomment this part if you try number two Comment out all the other and uncomment this part. Let us try the display a text. I will uncomment this part and comment. I will hit the save and click the run button. And the character A, which is this one, is displayed in our that matrix display. Now, if you want to try Number three, you will just 
comment this out then uncomment this part uncomment click the save and the run button and it should display all the available characters in scrolling text so there are other examples that you can try down here so let's see this one the x the number 10 so i will comment this out comment out and uncomment number 10 up to number 10 uncomment right click and comment click the save button and click the run button okay so this shows an animation oh so i will click the stop button and let's see the example number two in example number two we use the built-in internal RTC module of the ESP32 using this one. So this one is built-in inside the ESP32. To use this, we need to modify the current date and time. So the date is 2021, February 24. Today is 24. Today is Wednesday. That is 3. It's 8 plus 12, that is 20. The minutes is 25. Seconds and subseconds will be neglected. So I will just click the run current script. Binary clock is a clock represented by binary. Every LED in the dot matrix display represents a binary digit. For this example, Every column, this one going up or vertical, represents a decimal value. For example, this column represents the year, this one for the month, this is for the day. Then there is a blank here to separate the date and the time. Then this column represents the R, the minutes, the seconds, and the subseconds. Now, to give you an idea on how to read a binary clock, this column, this one, represents hours in military time. Each row is a binary place value. This row represents a value of 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128 place value. So here, the turned on LED have a place value of 1, 2, 4. So this is 4 and 16. So sum it up, add it up, will result to 20. It uses military time, so 20 minus 12 will result to 8 p.m. So now is 8 p.m. So for the year, or let's say for the month, this column represents the month. So this is 1, 2. So number 2 is turned on and nothing else. So the value in the month column is 2. And 2 is equivalent to February. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including additional information, can be found at my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this tutorial, 
be sure to write your message in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.